Okay, in this last demo, um, it's a fun demo because we're kind of putting it all together. We've learned about a lot of different tools, you know, REST API, posting, Python, ARIA, GitHub. Uh, so I put together you know, a really, really basic, simple sort of web-based interface to configure an ACI fabric just to kind of, as a fun project, but just to kind of show you, you know, you can kind of do these things without having a lot of experience as a programmer. So if, you know, I, I have a web server up, so if you go to that IP, if you're inside Cisco to get there, uh, and you go to the very bottom, uh, there's a, I call it click to configure. So in my particular lab, when I explain to people about configuring it, I kind of break it up into, you know, smaller modules and I take them through each module and I explain things. So I've got um, things like housekeeping, which is, you know, sort of fabric discovery and registering your nodes and out-of-band IPs and all those kinds of things. Um, physical connectivity, I actually have servers connected to my ECI lab uh, with port channels, VPCs, etc., VLANs, and so I've actually um, used the ARIA tool to capture uh, those configuration steps. Now, I did it manually once the first time uh, to be able to capture it, but you know how to use ARIA now to, to make this your own. So I've got the physical connectivity, and, it, and it, I click on the link, and it will kick off a script. And I go through integrating, you know, VMM domains like vCenter or Microsoft Hyper-V, and even, you know, building a tenant. Um, so what I've done is I just have a simple Linux, you know, VM running an Apache web server. I use the ARIA tool to generate my Python scripts. I put them in the CGI bin directory, uh, and here you go. It didn't, didn't was really trivial uh, to create. So if we go back to my ACI fabric... Um, you know, if I go through and I actually click on things like, if I click on housekeeping uh, in my simple web page, it just now kicked off the Python script in the background and it actually pushed uh, to ACI. Now, I might get kicked out of my uh, environment because I've turned off HTTPS. So let me go back and fix that. Um, and we'll log back in. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is I want to do the physical connectivity, as I said, you know, the VPCs, the, the front panel ports and all those kinds of things. Um, so here we are logged back in and I just kind of want to show you if I go into my fabric um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff like I don't have any attachable access entity profiles I don't have any interface policy groups etc well I did have the VPCA let's delete that one real quick um, but if I kick off my script now and I say physical connectivity boom done let's go back to APIC and you can see there's all my physical connectivity, my policies, my policy groups, my profiles, my AEPs, my VLAN pools, all of that stuff, bang, done in one, you know, one click. Uh, if I keep going and I say, um, let's do a, a integrating a VMM domain. So, okay, I've done that part. And just to click, if I go here under VM networking, you can actually see I've got a vCenter integration that I've got set up. One word of caution here and a note to be aware of is the Python script does not save your credentials to log in to vCenter. So you can see here I've thrown a fault. I'll have to go, ahead, go in and fix that. It, if I double click on the credential I created and I simply retype the password, then everything will absolutely clear up. Uh, but just a little you know, tip in case you, know, you get stuck and you're like, why, you know, why isn't it working if you try to do that? So in a moment, those faults will actually go and they'll, they'll clear in just a minute, but it's, it's all working now. And then finally, if I wanted to have a tenant, I had pre-configured a tenant under tenant common, and I can go ahead and push that. So if I, I click there, and if I go into my tenants, and I go into tenant common, you'll actually see that I've got some configuration uh, in my particular lab environment. I created an APG called Common Services, did some networking, etc. But really, in four clicks, I've, I've I basically configured my entire ECI fabric. So I can you know destroy my lab, I can tear it down, I can teach people how to use it, and I can kind of click them through the steps and very quickly get to a, a, a known good working configuration step uh, because I know I've got the script. And I, I find that very, very useful.